Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today we have got the final week of the regular season for our predictions. And it's a little sad. It's been it's been 17 weeks, I guess 16 weeks from the first episode. We're at the end of the regular season. Now this isn't going to be the end of my prediction series. Um, I'll say first of all, I may be doing this in the future for future seasons. Um, I might do it again next year. I might not. We'll see. Uh, let me know about that in the comments and I'll kind of just be gauging how much people are interested in it. Um, but also, I'm going to be carrying this into the playoffs through the entire playoffs. I'm going to be keep doing them every single week. Um, even for the Pro Bowl week, there's going to be something special there. So make sure you keep an eye out for that one. But uh, for now, let's get to week 17. Start off on week 16. And take a look at what we got right and what we got wrong. First two matchups I got right. It was the Saints over Vikings. That was a fun game to watch. And then the Bucks over Lions. I picked the Cardinals and they lost. And that was massive for them. Um, you know, important, significant that they lost that game. And then also for the Raiders, I'm pretty sure losing this game took them out of the playoffs if they weren't already out, which they may have already been out. Um, but they're definitely out now. For the Dolphins, though, this was a big game for them because it solidified them in the playoffs. They're in the playoff picture now, um, which means if they win, they're in. But we'll get to all the playoff stuff uh, once we get to this week. I've got the next three right, Chiefs, Jags, and Bengals as winners. And then the... I said Jags. Why did I say Jags? The, the Bears. I was just reading teams. Chiefs, Bears, and Bengals as winners. I got those right. I went with the Browns. They lost to the Jets. I kind of forgot about that one, uh, which kind of makes sense that I just forgot about it. I wanted to forget about it. Obviously surprising. Um, Jets are not smart. Um, and then the Colts, dude. They, they choked so hard. They choked and they lost to the Steelers. And as I said last week, I said, this could be the game where the Steelers play a, a solid game and they win. And like, okay, yes, the Steelers are a good team. Don't forget about that. They're a good team. They're legit. I think that's what the what that game was. Um, and I think the Colts are still good, but that was a very tough loss for them. Next up, we have the Ravens winning and the Chargers winning. Got those right. And then I went with the uh, football team. And they lost to the Panthers. They could have clinched the division. They didn't. And oh, we'll talk more about that. But that was bad. And then I went with the Eagles. And they got crushed by the Cowboys. Um, yeah, I wasn't really expecting that. I still have a bit of faith in the Eagles, though. I think Hertz is working for them. And I think it's going to continue working using him. Um, but we'll see. And then the last three matchups... Uh, picked correctly the Seahawks over Rams the Packers over Titans that was an incredible game an amazing game hashtag AJ Dillon come out party that was amazing um, and then the Bills over the Patriots that was not a fun game to watch because it was just a blowout um, and then I didn't get the score right at the bottom I don't know if you can even see that um, but yeah that's it for last week so let's go over to week 17 and get to making our picks so first up is the falcons at the bucks now i was thinking for a second do the bucks have anything to play for and they do um if they lose this game there's a chance that they fall out of the fifth seed in the playoffs and i'm sure they would rather be the fifth seed than anything lower so they are going to be you know playing all their starters in this that's something we're gonna have to consider about uh, the games this week, some teams don't have anything to play for, some do. Um, Falcons, they may not even show up like 11 games this year. So going Bucks here, that's a pretty obvious pick. Um, next up, a big game, hopefully a good game, and a very important game for both teams, the Dolphins and the Bills. Bills are playing for seeding. I believe they're in the three seed right now, either the two or the three seed. And they are playing for seeding to try to get better seeding. Um, the Dolphins, on the other hand, they're just trying to get in the playoffs. If they lose this game, their chances of making the playoffs plummet. But if they win, they're in. 
I don't think they're going to win, though. Both teams are playing. Both teams want to win. And I honestly think that the Bills are just by far the better team. So I have to go with the Bills in this matchup. Next up, we've got the Ravens at the Bengals. I don't need to say much here. Bengals, nice win over the Steelers. So what? Don't care. Going with the Ravens. Um, pretty obvious there, and that will get them into the playoffs for the Ravens. It's a win and you're in situation for them. I have them winning. I have them in the playoffs. Next, we have the Steelers and the Browns. Now, I'm pretty sure Roethlisberger isn't playing for the Steelers. Okay, so I just checked and the Steelers are resting Ben Roethlisberger and I think they're resting more players. I'm not exactly sure why because I think that they would be playing for seeding uh, with the Bills, but I guess not. Um, or I don't know, but Steelers are going to be resting some people. So combine that with the fact that the Browns are at home and the Browns are a good football team. I'm picking the Browns here. I think they're going to win this game. And I think they're going to be the better, fo better football team tomorrow. Um, next up, we are into the NFC least. Now, this is the first half of a monumental prediction by me. And with me saying that, you might already know where I'm going to end up. But... You look at what the Cowboys have done all year, you look at what they've done recently, and you look at what they've done last week, they're looking at least half decent. I'm picking the Cowboys here because the Giants have not really been impressive at all this year. The Cowboys have impressed a bit at points, especially last week, scoring 37. So I have faith in the Cowboys here. That's weird to say that I have faith in a 6-9 and nine team, but I'm picking the Cowboys because I have faith that they're going to be the better team and they're going to win that game. Next game, we've got the Vikings and the Lions. Two meh teams, two standout players in this matchup, one on each side, Matt Stafford and Dalvin Cook. It doesn't seem that Stafford is able to get the Lions wins. He can make the offense work, but he can't get the team wins by himself. I think that is something that Dalvin Cook can do. I think the Vikings are the better team, and I think the Lions need to trade Stafford so that he can have a legitimate career. Next, Jets, Patriots. I don't see the Jets winning three in a row. I, it, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. And if it does, then congratulations, Jets fans. You played yourself, okay? Next game, Packers-Bears. Obviously, I'm picking Packers here. Both teams have a lot to play for. Bears would need to win to get into the playoffs. If they lose, they are dependent on the result of another game uh, to get in the playoffs. So they don't actually have to win here, I'm pretty sure. Um, I believe they can lose and still get in. But if they do win, they are in. The Packers, if they win, they get the one seed. If they lose, they are dependent on another matchup. Uh, that we will get to later to get the one seed. They need a certain team to win, a certain team to lose to get the one seed. So both teams are playing, and this is not even close. The only thing that, that gives me any sort of doubt that the Packers would win is how the Bears have played offensively in their last few games. But then you look at who they've played, and it's like the Texans and the Vikings and the Jags those are not good teams. Those are not good defenses. So to put up good points against those teams, it's great. They're NFL teams. You're putting up good points, but it's not like you're putting up 40 against the Titans, who are a solid team. Defensively, though, they're not good. Um, the other thing that I would point out, other than the Packers putting up 40, they did it in the snow. They did it in freezing temperatures. And look at the other side of the ball. They held the Titans, who before that game... We're tied with the Packers for that most points per game in the league with over 30. I think it was over 31. We held them to two scores, 14 points, and that's it. I don't see the Bears scoring much more than... I don't see them scoring more than 17 in non-garbage time. And in the last matchup, Packers scored a ton. Bears didn't, and then they scored a couple of times in garbage time. I don't see the Bears scoring more than 17 in non-garbage time. I see the Packers scoring at least 24 in non-garbage time. And hopefully, it's even more of a difference. You have to go Packers here. It's simple. 
Next matchup, we got the Raiders, who are out of the playoffs, and the Broncos, who are out of the playoffs. And I've got to go with the Raiders. I still think they're a decent team. They obviously are with seven wins, but they're not great. They're not a playoff team, but they're better than a 5-10 and 10 Broncos team. Um, yeah. Next game. Next two games are very big games. These are two teams in the same division, the Titans and the Colts, who I believe the Colts currently control the division. I think. I'm not 100% sure. I want to say the Colts are in the lead in the division. One of the teams is in the lead. And if they lose and the other team wins, then the team that wins wins the division and the team that loses may be out of the playoffs. I don't know for certain how that dynamic works, but these are big games for both teams and I think they're both going to win their games. So I have the Titans winning their game and I have the Colts winning their game. They're not playing good teams. The, the, the Texans aren't good. The Jags aren't good. It's that simple. Next up, we got the Chargers and the Chiefs. Now, I said early on in the year that I'm not picking against the Chiefs, and I'm not doing it here either. Um, it might come to a point, though, when I do pick against the Chiefs. Here, I can't pick a 6-9 and nine team over a 14-1 team. It's that simple. Chiefs are still the best team in the NFL, in my opinion. But I will mention that the the margin, I feel like they should have like 90% of the vote. It looks like they only have maybe in the 70s. That, that's what happens when you beat the the Falcons by three points. And I believe they're, they've won their last like eight games by one possession. You compare that to the Packers and how many blowout wins they have this year. It's interesting. It's an interesting thing. Packers have two more losses, but a lot of their wins are blowouts compared to the Chiefs, where a lot of their wins are tight games. So interesting dynamic there. But got to go Chiefs here. That's an easy pick. So, this is the game that matters for the Bears. If the Bears lose, they need the Rams to win this game for the Bears to be in the playoffs. If the Cardinals win and the Bears lose, the Cardinals and the Rams are in the playoffs and not the Bears. So, Bears fans are going to be rooting for the Rams in this one because if the Rams win, it doesn't matter the result of the Bears game. And I think that's what's going to happen. I think the Rams are going to win this game. They obviously did lose to the Jets, but before they lost to the Jets, Rams were one of the teams where I was like, hold on a second. I don't really want to play that team in the playoffs. I'm a little bit scared of them. They seem good. They seem sneaky good. They seem like a really solid team. Then they went and lost to the Jets. They don't seem like that anymore. The Cardinals, I've never been at all like scared of them. It's I've never said, I don't want to play the Cardinals in the playoffs. I'd love to. I, that seems like an easy win to me, honestly, to be honest. It, it does, just like the Bears. Um, Rams, not so much. And also, the Rams, they're just a the better team. Um, this it really is anybody's game. Both are good teams. Both teams can play well. Both teams can play bad. And both teams can win this game. But I have to go with the Rams here. I think they're way more likely to win this one. Now, next up, we have the Saints and the Panthers. Now, I just got a notification on my phone saying that... The Saints running backs, like all of them are out. Latavius Murray, Dwayne Washington, and Michael Burton, and Alvin Kamara, all of them are out because of COVID issues. Kamara got COVID, and the other three uh, were deemed close contact. So I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure that's like their entire running back room, or at least their top four running backs are out. That's obviously a massive blow, and Kamara being out is a massive blow to that team. But the Panthers suck. The Panthers suck. No matter no matter what you say about the Saints running backs, they still have Taysom Hill. They still have Drew Brees. They still have Michael Thomas. They still have some great players on defense. And they're still a good team. And they're still 11-4. and four, And I think they would be well over 500. And I don't know about that. They'd probably still be 500 without, without Kamara. Now, without their entire running back room, it's a bit different. But I still see them winning this game. I don't think they're going to drop it even if they have absolutely no running game. And maybe maybe they use Taysom at running back. Maybe they have some practice squad guy that'll come in and get 90 yards. Who knows? But I still have confidence in the Saints winning this one, so I'm still picking the Saints. So on to the next pick. Hey, this is your pick, right? You ready to go? Yep. All right, let's do this. 
All right. So I'm going to do this pick right now. So check the fit. Check out the Instagram as well. Um, but for this pick, it's pretty obvious who I'm going to be picking here. It's going to be the better team, and I'll go ahead and put it in because we don't need to waste any time at all. We've got one of the top teams in the NFC playoff picture, the Seattle Seahawks. However, they've got some guys on IR. They've got some running backs on IR or who are out or who are questionable. Probably not going to be playing. For the Niners, we already have Kittle back. We don't have Jimmy G. We we're fine without him. You know, he's obviously a great guy, but we have a bunch of talented players everywhere else on the team, every level of every position. All 53 guys are super talented, and they're honestly just going to be insanely good in this game. Uh, obviously, special teams is going to be great. Offense is going to be great. Defense is going to be great. Seahawks, you just, they don't have it, and they have this thing with, you know, losing to the Niners in the last game of the regular season. So that's going to be happening again this year. Uh, that's just what we do. And Seahawks are going to be losing this game. So we're going with the 49ers here. And that's my pick. Uh, you ready to come back? Yeah. All right. So I'll come back for the final pick here. We've got Washington and Philadelphia, the football team and the Eagles. Now, you can see the prediction, the percentages are really close here. And I'll give you a little team review for each of them. So for Washington, they've been kind of decent. For, for the NFC least, uh, hashtag, how do you, hashtag, hashtag tank division. Um, if you know, you know, if you don't, all good. Um, but for Washington, they've been solid all year in their division. Um, for their division, they've been solid. Um, Haskins is gone. I'm pretty sure Alex Smith is going to be starting. And they've been decent. And they've been decent with Alex Smith. But that's it. They've only been decent. The Eagles, on the other hand, they only have four wins. They have ten losses. They do have a tie. And to be honest, with Jalen Hurts, the past few games, they have looked really good. And when I say really good, I mean way better than they've looked with Wentz. Wentz was doing a lot of stuff that wasn't working, and Jalen Hurts is doing a lot of stuff that is working. So in this matchup, I am picking the Philadelphia Eagles and Jalen Hurts to continue to play well, other than last week against the Cowboys, that was a fluke. Um, they are going to continue to play well, like they did against the Saints, and they're going to win this game at home in Week 17 to keep the football team out of the playoffs and give the NFC least to the Dallas Cowboys who won in the early window. That's my bold prediction for this week. And then lastly, for the score prediction, I will throw this one back to you. Thank you. And I'll take the outro too. So for the final thing we have, it's the score for the Seahawks and my Niners. Um, obviously, we have the Niners winning, so I think the score is going to be pretty large margin. Last year was a close game in the last week of the year. This year, I don't see that happening. I think we're going to blow them out. So I'm going to go with the classic score, as we've done on the channel, of 38 to 10. Got to keep doing it. Um, obviously, a plausible one with the Niners just being so much of a better team, especially this week. And so those are going to be the predictions. I'll run through the winners so we can look at those. We've got the Bucks, Bills, Ravens, Browns, Cowboys, Vikings, Patriots, Packers, Raiders, Titans, Colts, Chiefs, Rams, Saints, Niners, and Eagles. Those are the predictions for week 17, the final week of the NFL regular season in 2020, now 2021. Happy New Year to everyone, by the way. If I didn't mention that in yesterday's video, which I don't think I did for some reason, I was too focused on the coin count. If you haven't seen my video from yesterday, do check that out. Um, other than that though, those are the predictions. I am obviously gonna be getting every single one, right? Let me know down in the comments though, if you think that you have a different selection. So basically just let me know in the comments if you're gonna be wrong. Um, and other than that, 
for the second time I'll say. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe as always, and I'll see you next time.